Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to BTNX. Today we are diving into a fascinating topic, predicting trends and automating insights with AI in Excel. Imagine having the power to predict market trends and automate tedious tasks all within the familiar interface of Microsoft Excel. It's not just a possibility, it's a reality with the integration of AI tools. Before we move forward, I would like to tell you that BTNX has an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day to day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you are not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's get into the exciting world of AI and Excel. For this video, we are going to use salary data set from Kaggle. So we are going to perform simple linear regression using Microsoft Excel. So this data set basically have three columns first one is serial number then years of experience then salary okay here salary is a dependent variable and years of experience is a independent variable let's import this data set into our excel to import a data set you have to go to data tab then we have to click on get data here we have to select text slash csv then here we have to click on browse after selecting the data set you have to click on next here you just have to click on load as you can see what data set has been loaded to microsoft excel now let's learn few terms then we'll proceed with predicting trends right first of all let's learn what is predictive analytics as you can see predictive analytics is a branch of advanced analytics that involves the use of statistical algorithms and machine learning techniques to analyze historical data and make predictions about future events or trends so that's what we are going to do we are going to predict trends in the data here you can see predictive analytics can be a powerful tool for organizations looking to gain insights improve decision making processes and anticipate future trends or events it's widely used in areas such as demand forecasting fraud detection customer retention and preventive maintenance let's learn what all are the techniques we can use to predict trends okay as you can see machine learning has a variety of techniques that can be used to predict trends based on historical data the choice of technique depends on the nature of the data and the specific requirements of the prediction task so here you can see the common machine learning techniques first one is linear regression in this video we are going to use this linear regression technique in that we are going to use simple linear regression okay then we are having decision trees after that random forest then gradient boosting then time series analysis after that neural networks support vector machines k nearest neighbors clustering and at the last ensemble methods okay so let's learn more about linear regression
so as you can see linear regression is a statistical method used for modeling the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables the goal is to find the linear equation that best predicts the dependent variable based on the independent variables this method assumes that the relationship between the variable is linear meaning it can be represented by a straight line the equation for a simple linear regression which involves one independent variable can be expressed as y equals to b0 plus b1 into x plus b so y is a dependent variable x is a independent variable so in our case so here you can see salary is the dependent variable right and then years of experience is independent variable so b not is a y intercept b1 is a slope of the line representing the change in y okay uh, so we have to know about this key concepts right least square method the method used to find the values of the coefficients that minimize the sum of squared differences r squared a metric that measures the proportion of the variance in the dependent variable that is predictable from the independent variable it ranges from 0 to 1 with higher values indicating a better fit then residuals the difference between the actual value and the predicted values analyzing residuals helps us assess the model's performance and identity patterns or trends in the errors so let's do this thing in a practical so we have already imported our data now we have to go to data tab so we have to click on data analysis you can add this add-on by adding analytics tool pack so first of all just click on data analysis add-on here you can see the various techniques as of now we are going to use regression before we perform this thing I would like to tell you one important thing which you all have to know A is taking over the world in such a short span of time we have seen so many layoffs millions of jobs replaced by AI and whatnot we don't want to get affected by this precision wave right well A won't replace you but the person using AI will if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career join our two hour microsoft office using ai tools workshop in which we will teach you about the best ai tools to upskill increase your productivity and enhance your career make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now back to our main topic now just click on ok first of all let's input the y range so salary will be the y range okay then x range years of experience will be the x range so here i'm just going to select the this output destination okay and then you can select uh, residuals and line fit plots okay 
can also check out the residual plots also just click on ok let's look at this one you can see the regression statistics multiple r this value r square and adjust r square close to 1 is a perfect value then standard error then observations so here you can see total 30 observations right then ANOVA you can see all the other values you can also see coefficients and p value here you can see the predicted salary and residuals so here residuals means the difference between the actual values and the predicted values so this is the difference so this is the predicted salary and the difference is this so this is the predicted salary and this is the difference like that you can see so let's look at the plots so uh, we are not going to see the residual plot it's not that important okay let's look at the predicted salary plot you can see uh, the this is a straight line right this is how we predict trends in microsoft excel you can see on y axis we are having salary on x axis we are having years of experience and the salary and the predicted salary there is not much difference right that's it for this video you can learn more about these terms and how this thing is working out uh, you can always use star gpt if you get any doubts as we wrap up our exploration of predicting trends and automating insights with ai in excel i encourage you to implement what you have learned the future is here and by embracing ai you are not just staying relevant you are staying ahead do like comment share the video and subscribe to our youtube channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description box we'll see you there thank you for watching